Hello and welcome back to our JavaScript course on Code Academy. We're in the variable section, string interpolation. In the ES6 version of JavaScript, we can insert or interpolate variables into strings using template literals. Check out the following example where a template literal is used to log strings together. We have here const my pet, it's assigned armadillo. We console.log this string, I own a pet, and in the string, we interpolate or add our variable. So it should output, I own a pet armadillo. So notice that a template literal is wrapped by backticks. So here we have a backtick, and it ends with a backtick. This key is usually located on the top of your keyboard left of the one key. Inside the template literal, you'll see a placeholder, dollar sign, curly bracket, my pet, and then end that curly bracket. The value of my pet is inserted into the template literal. When we interpolate I own a pet with our template literal, the output we print is the string I own a pet armadillo. One of the biggest benefits to using template literals is the readability of the code. Using template literals, you can more easily tell what the new string will be. You also don't have to worry about escaping double quotes or single quotes. Our instructions say create a variable called my name and assign it your name. So here we let my name be assigned Jose. Run that. We pass to create a variable called my city and assign it your favorite city's name. Let my city be assigned Newman. California, run that. So third, use a single template literal to interpolate your variables into the sentence below. Use console log to print your sentence to the console in the following format. My name is, here our name would go. My favorite city is, here our city would go. Replace name and city in the string above by interpolating the value saved to my name and my city. Here we could actually take a look just how they did it here. You could even copy it, put it in there. So this is what's changing. We keep the back ticks and then we go down. They want this. We could copy that, paste it in here. Now the only thing that's going to change is name and city. And we could go up to see how that template literal is written. We can copy that. We can add that here and here and then just switch our variable names to my name and my city and that should take in our values and log them out in the console let's run that my name is jose my favorite city is newman if i go down we did pass that so it did work so here what we're learning is string interpolation which basically allows us to insert variables into strings and we do that using template literals. If you guys get that, you guys are getting this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.